Hi, I'm Jessica, and I'm with Michael, and we're from Garmin. And today we're going to fly Garmin Cessna 172, which is equipped with the GFC 500 autopilot, dual G5 electronic flight instruments, and a GTN 750. We're going to demonstrate some of the benefits and features of the GFC 500 autopilot. Michael and I are just off New Century Air Center here on the south side of Kansas City. And Michael's got the autopilot in an indicated airspeed climb set at 80 knots. With the GFC 500, you can use the mode controller to set both the indicated airspeed and the altitude select, or you can also utilize the G5. As Michael was flying up to 4,500 feet, he was actually utilizing heading mode on the autopilot, which makes it really easy to fly different assigned headings from ATC, for example. As part of the level mode demo with the GFC 500, Michael's going to roll the aircraft into a bank, simulating perhaps that he's entering inadvertent IMC and becoming a little disoriented, utilizing level mode to return the aircraft to both pitch and roll level modes. It's important to note that level mode is also a standard feature as part of the GFC 500. ESP works independently of the GFC 500 autopilot, but monitors your control inputs in the background. When you exceed the predetermined roll or pitch limitations, ESP will engage as it's active for longer than a 10 second period. At that point, the aircraft will roll in level mode and you'll also receive an oral tone that will say engaging autopilot. Michael's going to, going to go ahead and roll into a steep turn and exceed that 45 degree bank so we can check out just how smoothly ESP works. Air Michaels exceeded the roll limit indicators on the G5, so ESP is active. The GFC 500 is now engaged and is rolling in level mode and will remain in level mode until the pilot commands otherwise. Also available as standard with the GFC 500 autopilot is underspeed and overspeed protection, which is available while the autopilot is engaged. We're level at 4,500 feet today, and let's say ATC assigns us a new altitude of 6,500 feet. So Michael will go ahead and select 6,500 on the altitude pre-select. And let's say he commands a climb rate of 2,000 feet per minute and perhaps doesn't add power as part of that climb. That climb rate is a little too aggressive for this aircraft, especially without power. So we'll watch the airspeed bleed off here. Airspeed, airspeed. As part of underspeed protection, we receive the airspeed. oral airspeed enunciation, and we also receive the visual airspeed. minimum airspeed enunciation on G5. And it holds plus or minus airspeed. about 60 knots airspeed. and doesn't have a way of maintaining that 2,000 feet per minute airspeed. climb. Essentially, the GFC 500 will not stall the aircraft and builds in those parameters to protect you from doing that. When the GFC 500 is paired with an IFR navigator, such as the GTN 650, the 750, the GNS 430W, or 530W, pilots can fly fully coupled instrument approaches, including LPV, RNAV, ILS, localizer, VOR, and bad course approaches. Pilots can also fly coupled go-arounds as part of the missed approach sequence with the GFC 500, which it significantly reduces pilot workload. As part of the next piece of this demo, we're going to fly an LPV uh, to runway 35 in Ottawa, which is just on the south side of Kansas City here today. Now that we have the LPV loaded to runway 35 in Ottawa, we're flying outbound for the course reversal, fully coupled on the autopilot. Michael has the autopilot engaged, we're level at 4,000 feet, and he's armed approach mode. As we intercept the glide path, Michael will simply be utilizing power to manage airspeed as the GFC 500 flies a fully coupled instrument approach. As we're coming down in the approach and nearing the runway, Michael is going to activate the missed approach, apply power, and hit the go around button, which is an option. And the aircraft and the autopilot will fly a fully coupled go around for the mist. With features such as ESP, level mode, underspeed protection, and even coupled approaches, the GFC 500 contains a lot of safety enhancing features that significantly reduce pilot workload. For additional information regarding the GFC 500, visit garmin.com slash aviation or contact your local Garmin dealer.